Rooftop! More RPGs on the rooftop! Hi, my name is Mark Graney. My newest work is called Armored. It is not a book at all. It is uh, an original audio play for Audible. This is the first time I've heard anything from, from the audio play, so it's very, very exciting. It was a really fun scene for me to listen to because I remember writing it and it was just executed really well by the production team at Audible. Every weapon I heard going off there was exactly right. The 40 millimeter grenade launchers, the M249s. Every sound cue, every bit of dialogue was all on the page that I wrote. The radio transmission in the guy's headset would sound different than the radio transmission over the truck speakers, for example. So the different networks of the people communicating with each other, it's like it was down to that level of detail. I spent a lot of time in the civilian contracting world doing training. Um, I learned how to use the weapons, taking sniper training, close quarters battle training. I don't profess to have the talent that my hero Duff does in the, in the story, but I do pride myself on putting the time, you know, in the dirt and the mud, trying to, you know, learn enough about this uh, to where I can talk about it credibly. Senora Chuleta, the man from Guadalajara is here. Make a place for him at the table. Bring him another steak, some tequila. Si, senor. It's the first time I've heard anything from, from the audio play, so it's very, very exciting. Writing for an audio play was so much harder than I thought it was going to be when I agreed to do it. <laughs> and as soon as I started writing it, I came to the realization that in an audio play, everything is a sound cue or dialogue. I think a narrator works in a lot of these audio plays, but in this one, it, I think it would have been a crutch. So I had to come up with very sort of innovative or, or innovative to me, because I've never done it before, ways to tell the story. A lot of guns coming this way. If the QRF is more than a minute out, might as well tell them to knock off for lunch. Expediting as able. <sighs> how much, how much did you understand? Your people want you to leave me to die. Yeah, but that's not happening. We're in this together, ma'am. I went to a production meeting with Audible. They had told me there would be 30 actors in this and all the links that they were going to go to to do this very authentically. I think it was something like 13 um, native Mexican parts that they wanted to get uh, actors actually from Mexico for, for all of those parts. If you all suddenly become one big happy family, I will be out of work. <laughs> well, we can't have that. I guess we'll all keep killing each other so you can have a job. Eh? I write two books a year, so I do at least one research trip for virtually all of, all of my novels. And it's just something that really adds a lot of authenticity to your story when you go there. It also adds a lot of empathy for other cultures and places. This isn't about Americans going to some country to right wrongs or something. There are villains and heroes <laughs> of all walks of life in this story. And I think that that comes from, from doing a lot of travel. <laughs> this is not getting covered up. We all survived for a reason. We can stop the army from invading if we can tell our story. Then I'll call everybody I can think of. Cool. When I listened to the entire audio play of Armored, I've never once read one of my books <laughs> after I've written it, but uh, I can't wait for this to come out. I'm gonna dig into it instantly. Hi, I'm Mark Graney, the author of the new Audible original Armored, available now on Audible.